this little beauty is the One Plus X Onyx. And if you weren't a particular fan of the sandpapery rear panel on the OnePlus 2, you might very well like this because OnePlus has gone down Apple's route and used a solid glass rear panel. There are two versions of the phone, the Onyx with glass and a limited run ceramic model. And this panel is ceramic on that, it takes 25 days to produce, which is an insane amount of time for a mass produced smartphone. And apparently the rear panel itself has a yield of 20%, so they discard more than they end up using. However, the ceramic model is not the one we're looking at because it's not gonna be coming to the US for now maybe a future date, but at the moment, the only one that you're going to be able to buy in the US is this, the Onyx. No terrible thing, they're both exactly the same, aside from that rear panel material. As you can see, it's super slim, just 6.9 millimeters, and the Onyx is very, very light, about 135 grams. That's pretty light for a modern smartphone. It's also very compact. This is a five inch AMOLED display, first time OnePlus has decided to use an AMOLED screen and it is absolutely gorgeous. They've selected a, a black wallpaper so you can barely see any of the, the join between the screen and the bezel. It looks fantastic and extremely bright as you'd expect. It's very very comfortable in the hand thanks to these rounded edges on both sides of the glass screen. It is pretty reflective which is why the camera is having such trouble focusing and it is also a real fingerprint magnet. We've only had it a few minutes and it's already covered in our fingerprints. However it is absolutely gorgeous to look at. It's also competitively priced £200 in the UK and $250 which is an excellent price for a, a premium level smartphone. The processor is a Snapdragon 801, there's 3 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of memory, there's also a micro SD card uh, tray built into the dual SIM tray on the side here. And like the OnePlus 2, there's another one of these slider notification adjusters on the side, a feature we really liked on the OnePlus 2. So this is OnePlus going all out for design rather than building a device to a price and setting to it with the OnePlus. This is a little beauty and we really, really like it. We'll bring you more on the OnePlus X on Digital Trends very soon. So make sure you check the site for our hands-on and in the future, a review of this gorgeous new phone. This has been Andy for Digital Trends.